All right. This is one of the easiest plants to propagate. Simply because it grows in the water, so you don't need to worry about like really shocking the plant when you transplant it. A handy tip if you're transplanting terrestrial plants, um, you, you have to move from digging up to planting as quickly as possible, of course, but always fill the hole in which it will go into um, with water because that'll wet the, the surrounding soil so it won't dry out too fast. It really reduces transplant shock. Also, handy tip number two is if you can, screen the, the newly transplanted plant from direct sunlight for three, four days. Um, it'll keep the wilting down. Now onto Acorus calamus or Acorus americana, basically the same plant. The only real difference is in the, um, the calamus, the, the flowers are, oh, fertile and the americana is infertile or the other way around. I, I dyslexic moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this patch. It was actually in a small pot, aquatic pot, and I overwintered it in a stream and blam, it just took over. So I have reintroduced it into my, my pot, um, a section, exactly like I'm going to do now. I'm, I don't need to do this because I'm just transporting it upstream a little bit, but this is a little stream and potentially it could get overgrown, but that's not a bad thing because it's such a great plant medicinally. Um, so I'll be able to gather it when it gets established and starts going nutty. That's a good thing. Weke, the native name um, for this sweet flake. It looks like an iris. That's why it has flag in the name. But what I'm doing is I'm feeling around here and I want to see if any of these spurs, <laughs> they're not really called spurs, have any little roots in them. And I'm just gently letting the water flow. Well, they don't, but that's okay. They have healthy rhizomes. I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's these two big fat runners coming out here that are diving into the ground. They each have several um, leaflets forming. This one has a single. This one has three, one right here and then one right here. So it's simply a matter of, I'm not going to dig around too much because it doesn't matter. That big root will keep it alive while it gets rooted. Simply taking, I'm going to cut up a little bit. There, look at that's well within your technology. And then, oh, there are little rootlets, so I'm gonna gently pry them away so I don't break them, letting them flow of the water. There we go, some roots. Plop it right in the water so they're not gonna dry out. And that's <coughs> basically it. <coughs> I'm gonna walk up the stream now. Just a close up. <coughs> I'm simply gonna walk up the stream till I find the sunniest spot and estimating where the, the tree canopy will allow it to be sunny so it grows fast. Um, and just dig it into the, the floor of the creek. And so I am going to continually do that, establishing it in this little run, this little creek, and propagate my Acorus, or Acorus calamus, or slash Acorus americana, basically the same thing. One is native to North America, one isn't. Um, as far as its uses, uh, an amazing digestive medicinal. Um, also, the natives in North America would chew on the dried root to cessate hunger and thirst if they were drumming or doing the sun dance all night long. Um, I love it. It has a great bitter taste. Just chew on it. I don't necessarily have digestive problems, but I love the taste of it. It has a beautiful conical yellow flower. What else? It was called Mongol poison in Mongolia because they would plant it around um, bodies of water that were um, dirtied by animal life. And it's not poison to people, but it's poison to bacteria. It cleans water. So this is an amazing, amazing plant. One last look. And then I am going to just run upstream, find a sunny spot, and just dig it in. And it's going to go like gangbusters. A lot easier than transplanting common milkweed. A lot easier than transplanting and compass plant because of that tap root. This is basically on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as ease of transplanting and propagating. This would have to be a, a, a 10. The easiest 10, hardest one. Um, thank you for watching. There's my hand. I'm actually here. Have a good day and good luck with your, your plantings.